everyone and welcome back to another video so today's video i'm gonna do a little bit of a hair tutorial just because i've had so many of you guys asking on how i style my new little bob that i've got and if you can hear any noise downstairs that is because matt is downstairs working on the kitchen so i will show you an update on the kitchen because there's been a lot going on which feels amazing it feels so so good i also popped a home sense yesterday and picked up some really cute bits so i will show you them when i go downstairs ghd actually really really kindly sent me their two-in-one styler or duet styler this isn't an ad or anything i just thought i would show you because i've been loving it recently and it basically it dries your hair and straightens it at the same time i don't really know the science behind it i think it's supposed to be better for your hair but i'm not really entirely sure so i wouldn't want to educate anyone if I'm not educated myself, but it just works really, really well with my hair. I love that it's a product two in one, so it will be perfect for when I'm away, on holiday and stuff. I haven't got to pack my huge industrial size hair dryer that I use for work. So I will quickly do a little tutorial on how I use this. I will probably record myself and then do a little voiceover just because there's so much going on in the background. Let's get this hair dried. So I start by parting my hair in the middle and then just pop one section up with a claw clip and I go through the bottom section first and I normally go over with the GHD Duo Styler three or four times on each section just to ensure it is dry and then once I've done that whole bottom section I will then go through the mid section and just repeat the same process going over each section of hair three or four times just to make sure it's really really dry and then I take out that top section and I just repeat the whole process just to make sure that every hair is smooth and dry from root to tips I love this product so much as you can see it's super super easy I don't have to blow dry it and then go over the straighteners as well it's two in one so it does the same job and then as you can see here one side of my hair is dried with a styler and the other side is still wet you can see the movement in my hair and this is the final look So that is the GHD Duo Styler done and it's literally so easy. It also has a shine shot on here um, that you can press. I think you have to wait maybe 30 seconds and then they act as just a straightener because in here you can see, I think in the middle bit is a dryer and then this bit is like a straightener. So I think it just turns the blow dry section off and then you can use it as just a straightener. I'd say this is probably one of my new favorite hair tools and obviously being a hairdresser, there's a lot of them. You saw in the clip where this side of my hair was still wet and this side was dry. I have a lot of movement in my hair. I wouldn't say my hair is like curly of any sort, but it definitely has movement and it just always feels so silky, so soft when I use it. I just really, really love the product. But yeah, so that is hair done. Once Matt stopped making so much noise downstairs, I will go and show you some updates on there. I do want to pop the H&M home because I've seen a pillow that I really want for a new chair that we've got in the living area. But I will catch up with you guys a little bit later. I am back from the shop and my builder has decided to show up today. Your <laughs> Our kitchen is so close to being done. The only things we're waiting for are some appliances, so our dishwasher and fridge freezer haven't arrived yet, which is a bit annoying because they were supposed to be here, weren't they? Yeah, through AO. But AO decided to add our delivery date for the next year instead of this year, so that's why we've been waiting so long for them. So Matt called them and was like, our stuff hasn't arrived, and they said it's because the wrong delivery date got put on, but that's fine because hopefully they should be arriving soon but matt is now adding all the handles onto the kitchen and this is what the kitchen looks like so far so we've gone for a really lovely cashmere color and we have had some handles put on and we went for brass which look very nice so we are going to put a little like bit going up there which will then connect and go all the way to the ceiling 
So we come to like there, mm -hmm. and then all the way across, and then back down here, and then we'll put the extractor fan in that bit. These are the bits I picked up from TK Maxx earlier. I've just got one of these um, salt grinder things because I just think they'll look cute. Probably never use it, but it looks cute. And then I got some tea towels. And then I got myself a Glugler jug, which was an absolute bargain because when my friend moved into her flat, I bought her one. I'm sure it was about £50. And this one was 25 99 So I'm very happy with it. It's cute. I might even put some little flowers in it. But that's what I picked up from TK Maxx. I got Bruce this dog bed that Margot has actually decided that she prefers more than her bed over here but she likes to pull her blankets out of every time and then yesterday from HomeSense this is the chair I got and this is the little cushion that I just picked up from H&M and I just love it it is a little bit marked like there's some dark patches on it but mum said that she thinks that it will come out with like a fabric wash and then if you follow me over on instagram you'd have seen that i posted this little bench on my stories and this is also what i got from HomeSense, and it was an absolute bargain so on the ticket it says 245 i think it was and i managed to get it for 97 pounds because it was in the sale but it's the same material as the chair and i think this will go here to cover this plug eventually and then over here we're gonna have a little storage cupboard for all of our shoes um, but currently we've just got some of the worktop propped up against it but this is what the kitchen is currently looking like at the moment but I'm just gonna help Matt open up all of the handles because obviously that makes his job a little bit quicker he's waiting for me to stop talking so he can drill so I'm gonna do a time lapse <laughs> Guys, we have handles in every single cupboard in the kitchen so far. This feels good. <clears throat> What's next on the list? Bit of work top. Ooh. Yep. Um, yeah, probably get this all the work top on to be fair and then get the sink in. We have the tap. Yeah, but I can still cut the actual sink okay, in. Okay, yeah. And then after I'll cut the tap thing in, we I just didn't, won't fix it. We didn't get a tap because we're in a bit of a rush when we ordered this, weren't we? They're about to close. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they were. So we didn't pick one. But mm. now that we know that we like the brass handles, we can get a brass tap. You can get a brass tap. We can get a brass tap. Matt has just fit this first piece of work top, and I love it. We were going to have quartz, but it just worked out to be so expensive because we wanted to have this whole island in quartz and then the bits that come down as well. So it worked out that there was going to be a lot of work top, but I'm really happy with this. And he's just opening up this bit here where the sink's going to be. I've just got back from B&Q and I picked up some pieces to organise our drawers. 
You wouldn't be sitting there, so I'll do a haul for you and for the video. Lovely. A knife rack thing. Do you want to open it? I thought we already got one of them. Have we? From Ikea. No. We got the knives, but we didn't get the rack. Are you sure they didn't come in one? No. I might have just re-bought some we already have. And then I got one of these organiser things. Pull the cutlery in the drawer. And then we got a tap because, like I said, when we ordered our kitchen, we didn't really have time to organise anything. So just bought this hat that matches the handles from also being q It looks small, doesn't it? Looks a bit crap. Oh. This is our knife rack. Whew. Wooden. All of our knives. That one goes in with it. Where? In the drawer. Oh, in the drawer as well? Yeah. What, so both of them next to each other? Yeah, if they fit. If they fit. What's that mean? Well, I haven't measured it. I just assumed that they would fit. Oh, look at that. Georgia. That's amazing. There's so much space there. Yeah, but we can have, like, um, our big spoons and stuff there. I feel like this vlog has been a bit of a mismatch of me talking and then showing you what we're actually doing in the kitchen so maybe this will be our updated kitchen vlog um but we have news we have a sink now so excuse everything going on around it but this is our sink that we went for we keep saying that it looks a bit blue does anyone agree that it looks a bit blue but I think it's just because these worktops are quite warm and then this is quite warm but this is the sink and we've got the tap and everything and this is the guy that's been fitting it. I'm a genius. You are a genius. Hello everyone. Just to come to say hello. And it's actually a few days later now. I completely forgot to actually end this vlog. So I thought I would just end it quickly because my simmer order has just arrived in the post. So I thought I would just show you what I got really quickly because I love simmer. They kindly sent this to me. Um, because they've got some new meals out and I think with the code that I will leave on screen and link down below you get 25% off your first four orders which is super good I think it works out to be like five pounds ish a meal and if you didn't know anything about Simmer they are a monthly subscription they are all really really healthy freshly made microwave meals which is super super easy it has been so easy with us guys renovating this house because obviously we've not had a kitchen for a really long time and um, they just go in the microwave for about three or four minutes and the meals themselves are absolutely delicious and it means that we don't have to think about what we're eating we know that when we are eating meals that they are good for us as well so it's really easy if you are a gym goer or if you're just trying to be healthy because the meals are what your macros should be so every meal is exactly what your macros should be and I have no idea what they have sent me so this is a little first look so this is how it comes all in the box and they have ice cubes in them so you can leave them on your door if you're going to be out or whatever and they will stay fresh so they have sent me I think these are probably the new ones I've got a chicken chow mein I've got a OG jerk chicken, which I've had before, and it's really good. Quite spicy, but I don't really like spicy food, but it's spicy to me. So I think anyone that does like spicy food, it probably wouldn't be that spicy. And then I've got a chicken stroganoff. Oh, my favourite. I love a stroganoff. And then a Portuguese peri peri chicken. And like I said, they're just super, super easy. The meals and everything are all really low calories. So in this, for example, which is the Portuguese peri peri chicken, there is 423 calories in it, 
40.9 grams of protein, 40.8 grams of carbs, and then 10.7 grams of fat. Thank you so much to Simmer for sending them over. I will leave everything linked down below so you can check them out really, really easily. And I'm pretty sure when you shop through the link, it automatically adds your discount onto it. That being said, I'm gonna pop them in the fridge. Obviously, I can't remember what I actually updated this vlog with because it's been so long, but our appliances haven't actually arrived yet because we had trouble with AO, but it's all now organized. But I will quickly just run through what the kitchen looks like so far because we have been doing a few different bits since the last time I picked up the camera. We have a wild sausage on the floor in the sun and if anyone has a sausage dog, you will know that every inch of sunshine, they'll be sat in it. And then we have another end of the spectrum here. We have Bruce who is always hot, so he always sits in the shade. I don't know why we got a white sofa because this is actually what it looks like 90% of the time. Um, but I just thought I would show you my little glugler jug in its full glory with some flowers in it. And then we've got the little chair here. I think I did actually show you these bits, but this is what the kitchen is looking like at the moment. So we are missing the back panel on here because they accidentally sent us the wrong colour. And then the island, the wax up will go all the way down. So it's like a waterfall island. This bit needs to be taken shorter. Um, but I think this is probably the amount of overhang we're going to have on here. This is going to be where our fridge freezer is in this one. But obviously there's nothing in there at the moment. And then we've got a larder unit. And then we've got our drawers, our oven. And yeah, this is what it's kind of looking like at the moment. We've got some pull-out drawers in the middle here. So that is what the house is looking like at the moment i think i will just keep doing some little updates every now and then when something exciting happens at the moment it's just the appliances we're waiting for and then matt's got to finish some of the work top and he's obviously got to finish the island as well but we are so so close now we're really getting there we've just got to pop some blinds up and i don't actually know if i mentioned but above the cooker hood here we're gonna have like an actual built-in sort of, I don't even know what they call it, but it'll be like the cooker hood in here above this. So, and then we'll probably have like some tiles and stuff on here. But this is what it's currently looking like. It's a lot less like a building site and a lot more like a house now, which feels so good. But I am actually gonna round this little video off here. I'm sorry if it was a bit mismatched. I didn't really know what my intentions were for it. I just wanted to pick the camera up and show you guys what was happening. But if you did get this far, then thank you so, so much for watching. And I will see you very, very soon in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.